guys good morning or more good afternoon because i just got home from work it's been a long day and i'm super tired uh but it's been a good day i had the opportunity to go and have lunch with a friend which was awesome which also gave me like energy and drive so when i got back i actually got a whole bunch done work wise so that was really 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 fun um i'm really yeah i'm really enjoying working this much even though it's kind of tiresome yeah um but i just got home i got a little order today so i pick up a few things from china i don't buy kits i don't buy things like that from china because most of them usually are copyrighted and stuff um but i do buy like metal jewelry and beads um stuff for my knitting markers so i got we a whole bunch of new charms Wee! it's uh there is a couple more packages coming in with some more different colored beads oops sorry about that with some more different colored beads some that i'm going to use to put with these charms so i won't be sitting down right now to make them but they will be coming out more knitting markers uh, to put into the store um it's a lot of fun making them i have like uh pin needles and stuff like that that is coming that i really really need um but yeah that has been all my day because yeah i worked <laughs> i have however knitted a couple of rows on the socks so i now have a finished heel which is actually quite awesome um they're going much lower because i don't really knit at home i only knit to and from work and also my uh way to and from work has actually shortened so i don't get that much knitting that way but yeah well i am going to drink a cup of coffee that i made and then forgot about and then i'm gonna edit a yesterday's vlog and then i'm gonna have some dinner but um good afternoon guys i hope you have an awesome day so we went out for dinner i had a chicken salad i'm being good the amount of calories um calorie counting the little fitbit here has a app and in that app you can track your food track your water you track your uh, movement also because this has the heart rate thing it tracks that and kind of tracks uh when you're moving a lot it's awesome i really really like that app so um i'm trying to eat a little bit more healthier i had if my lips are blue and they were blue yesterday also i think i'm having a little bit of blueberries and milk as my kind of dessert every evening um kind of gives me that little good dessert and uh still keeping in health range sort of so that's good i'm don't eat sugar and for the past few times i actually even had didn't even have honey in my coffee i'm getting better at this actually getting better at this so that's awesome so we went to have chicken and then chicken salad and then i picked out a package um i got the slips when i got home and it's the dye if from from us um i bought from dharma trading um which is one of those kind of professional dye companies um and i bought uh two kits from them one to dye cotton cotton and rayon and linen all of those nice across stitch fabrics um that is coming in the mail so uh I won't be able to dye them until like two weeks away um, because next weekend I go to Christopher's parents place and we're gonna be away for a week because I have vacation 
Um, so um, after that I can start playing around with my dice. I also got some dice to do, I also got like the starter kits. Um, they have everything you need to dye a certain amount of fabric or wool. Um, and also they have uh, booklets or books about dyeing. Now, sadly though, they forgot to put my book in the package. So, yeah, I just got... Um, so hopefully they will send it to me later on because you know, I'm a little bit sad. But I did get this book called Modern Color, which is a very simple book talking about how to color with these dyes. Now, there's a few things. One of the things is they don't really discuss um, low emotion dyeing. They do discuss a little bit of mottling, how you would get mottling with this. And I'm going to try it out, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I have a whole bunch of lengths of cotton that I am going to um, dye up, see what I can get from. Uh, and then I, so that's going to be my kind of playing around, yes, even tomorrow. Uh, but it, it has a lot of like recipes um, describing how to use the dyes. Um, like how much you need it's powder dyes and you basically mix them a whole other way than you do with the like writ dyes with writ powder dyes uh, when you're supposed to dilute them you um, are supposed to make make it in a certain amount of water which is a lot of water and the crystals don't dilute perfectly I had that issue with the tan when I started I had the powder dyes with the red wasn't that good these are uh, you kind of make a paste of them and then you use that in your in your uh, kind of mix so yeah it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun to experiment but uh, when we finally got home I was just super tired so I had some blueberry milk I watched some I don't know, Midsummer Midsummer Murders. That's what it's called. It's called Midsummer Murders. And then I did some spinning. And I'm almost done with the next eighth. So for the first um for the first half of the wool, I spun it up in two different balls, so two quarters. For the, and just straight up to down from the half, I divided it on the length and then I, um, I just took, did it to the half mark and then I did another half. Uh, the other half I divided on the length in four different parts and then I uh, made small balls of them. And the idea is to spin them one after another and therefore have a quicker color um, change um, and and therefore you will get more of that when I apply them later on you will get more of that mixture so you have the lighter and the darks together in one thread so I'm not after a even colored yarn instead I just want it to be as um, mix as possible because I really like the the having the two different strands making one yarn uh, so I'm one of those four balls I'm almost through so that means I have three more balls one more ball for this um, bobbin or spindle and then I'm going to take that on and make a ball of the that and then I have two more um, that's going on the next so uh, I'm almost done with the third quarter no almost done with half of the third quarter yeah sorry straight um, I did also do a couple of stitches this morning I think I made like five of them before I headed out but I really wanted to get just a few stitches in 
um, before I left. But right now I'm gonna head to bed, so good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite.